have you prepared for today's County Cup final? Uh, we've had a good week of a good week of preparation. We uh, played our first team, which is like a lot of girls who are like 18 to 26 year old this week uh, in a friendly on Wednesday. Uh, yeah, we've done really well. We've prepared for it really good. What do you expect from today's opposition? Um, to me, today it's a 50-50 game. Um, We've played them twice in the league this season. Both times have been really hard games. Um, one's been a draw, one they beat us. Um, yeah, I think it could go either way. And with today's weather, it's going to make it a bit harder, I think. And finally, tell us what it means for your side to have reached today's County Cup final. It's massive. Um, the County Cup is what everybody wants to win. It's, it's the biggest cup, uh, and it's only done at this age group. So when, you work, when you're being a manager, you're thinking, yeah, I want to get to 16 to play in the County Cup. That's what it's all about. How have you prepared for today's County Cup final? Um, just a normal way really, just through uh, done training as normal, a uh, bit more focus on the uh, team play, but I think the girls are excited really, so it's just just the normal way, trying to change everything, treat it as a normal game. What do you expect from today's opposition? Um, last two times we've played them, it's been re they've been really good games and really close, so I, I expect it to be the same again really. Just, exciting I just the, the main thing is I just hope it's competitive and both teams enjoy the day and lastly tell us what it means for your side to have reached today's County Cup final um, for the club the club's going semi-professional next year for the ladies team so I think it's good for the club promoting that and um, for ladies football and for the team we only got together at the start of this season so for us to even be anywhere near a final I think we've done fantastic so yeah just excited for it just looking forward to the day now from your side's point of view? Um, I think it, we, it started really well for us. It was a bit of a cagey game. Uh, we played and then we got that first goal and I think that we settled down a lot. 
Uh, Stourbridge are a very good side, they come back at us again. But I think in the second half we played the elements a bit better. So we was trying to we knew the wind would play a part, so we were trying to feed it in round the back of the, their defence and it worked, that's where our other two goals come from. Describe the feeling of being named today's player of the match. Very excited and happy. It's like they put in a lot of work and it just paid off and it's just really rewarding to win. So in today's final, your team managed to keep a clean sheet. Can you talk us through how you managed to do that? Well, I think all I can say for that one is it goes down to the back four and the goalkeeper. Uh, as a defensive unit, uh, they've been outstanding all season. Um, and today just showed again how good they are as a back four and the goalkeeper. Uh, got a bit hairy near the end where I think there's a bit of a goal line clearance, but yeah, I'm very pleased to keep a clean sheet because that's just as good as scoring goals in my eyes. And finally, what does it mean for you and your side to have won today's oh, cup final? It's massive, like I said in the, the first interview, it's, it's the biggest cup for, for this, this age group. You don't, you only play it in the under 16s, so a lot of the girls are building up to this cup. And it's the only one I've not won yet. So for me today, I put a lot of pressure on the girls to say this is what I want. Um, I hope I can retire happy now. Thank you.